Hi, everybody. So, that solved the killer problem. And what else is there to do? Listening in. Let's take a look at the Alderaan fauna and fauna. Flutterplume. Savage Flutterplume. They won't attack us, so. Huh? Unlike these guys, Guerrilla Commando. Left, right, somewhere in between. Not here, actually. I think it's a cave. No, that's not how to dismount. Unmount. There's so many evil people here. We're doing this world a favor. It's just for your own good. It's for your protection. What I'm doing here. Oh wow. We're getting some damage here. Also, a lag is still going on here. Mad thing, the watcher probe. Couldn't pack a punch here. Right. Think we're go going to make this um, bonus mission if we want to or not. Well, I mean, I guess I could, uh, like, stealth my way through. 29 green, so they're not that far away from me. I don't even know. I just read the, about Tatooine in the intro text there, you know? Uh, maybe I'm... I may, uh, did them in the wrong order again. Hmm. Infiltrate the Gula base. Spike the com relay. Well, also there are like troops of four. Usually the groups are like three and or two with a silver dude. Well, that's just lore. That's not our objective. Uh, uh it's further up, like this. Okay, since we already got. Uh, the bonus mission, we might as well just slip through here. Mm -hmm. Young Padawan. Not detecting us. Bad thing is we need to go all this way back as well, and there are like spotting droids. There's uh, a chest up here. What? No. Oh. 
they're usually not worth it though. Even they're not, they're a bit ra rare. I mean, you get like a green item or something, but. Yeah, medium armor, we don't have that. Crafting materials, they just wanna trick me into uh, starting a craft artifact. No, we can sell that on the space market. Galaxy, trade net, whatever. Increase mastery. Mm, great. See, told you. I mean, I could have gotten something for me, but it, in the end, it still would have been like usually just a green item. Um, this game is not super about like uh, getting good, good loot. I mean, it is, but it's not. You know, I'm never expecting uh, like good loot from 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 anything here. Like, ooh, that's a purple item. Look at that. Now I'm so much more powerful. Well, of course it also is because I'm playing on a very easy difficulty, I guess. On the normal, super easy difficulty. That easy to kill and they're super annoying for obvious reasons. See, like what I'm looting here. I mean, even if it is like easy difficulty, you could still have more of a loot system. Like, where you go, oh wow, I got a new weapon. I never do. Like, really. Maybe twice during the leveling process. Have access to the Organa systems. They're all talking about the, uh, the ruthlessness and brutality of the recent attack. They, uh, they do train new Imperials well, don't they? You just need to learn to deal. Moff Sarek told me to respect you, not to submit to schoolyard taunts. Now that we can monitor the Organa's communications, it should be possible to... Lord Thule, the base is under attack. Send aid quickly. Order outpost 2 under attack. I repeat, under attack. Perimeter defense is breached. We're under attack by assault droids. Repeat, a coordinated attack by probe and assault droids. Blood of the Queen. Sounds like you need a little Imperial support right now. Yes. Show those backbiters that the Empire stands behind House Thule. The data says all three border posts are under attack. Looks like a coordinated effort. Hunter killers and probes. All I've got out there is a skeleton crew. You're the only one close enough to reach them in time. Please, save hmm. my bases and bring me the memory cores from any probes you destroy. I want to know who's behind this. Good luck. I don't need luck. Thank you. Now hurry! Okay, so we do get a little better st stats here. Endurance or mastery? I don't even know. Power sounds good. Power is always good, right? Hmm. Keep it. Maybe we want, we want to change it back if it actually matters at some point. I doubt it though. Did it say respawn? Isn't that like an instance here? Guess not. That sounds actually a bit terrifying. This is like. We are taking over the world. I never got that scene going in Star Wars, by the way. Alright, the droids just always remained droids. 
It's not like they're planning a rebellion to get rid of their masters. I mean, that topic was kind of breached in uh, that spin-off. Uh, well, what was it called? Rogue One. Yeah, that one. Oh, was, was it that one? Uh, no. Was it Han Solo? I don't even know. I haven't seen Han Solo. I think I'm mixing those two up now. Uh, and one of them, there's that one robot. It's kind of like all about uh, go droids, uh, rebellion, more power to the droids and stuff. One additional mission track. What's this? Seal killing poison. What's this buff? Dark Embrace. This looks cool, actually. Okay. Yeah. This reminds me, I kind of want to play a certain game. <sighs> Damn it, again. You fooled me. I won't tell the name, though. Don't want to spoil anything here. Yeah. Uh, there are a few good games about um, AI and so on. Uh, like, Mass Effect is one of them, even though it's not super obvious. Um, uh, Alright, someday I'll uh, <laughs> uh, kill everybody, sure. <laughs> So, usually, I mean, it is like a hot topic at the moment, I guess. For some reason, in conservative uh, uh, circles. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, kind of feels weird, but a few conservative outlets really are interested, or, or authors, or writers, and, and whatnot, interested in, in the dangers of AI, which kind of feels weird a bit, considering that they're usually not super interested, uh, and I mean that it, like neutral, you know, uh, about uh, saving the, the planet, well, not, not in the, uh, when it comes to, I don't know, uh, environment, uh, yes, protecting the environment, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of interesting so that they uh, have a doomsday scenario there. And uh, less of a doomsday scenario when it comes to climate change. And again, still being neutral here. Not haven't picked a side here yet. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, of course, it's not totally homogenous. What the fucking fuck? Alright, enough for the crowd control here. We're fighting eight guys anyway, at once. The killer drug. So, yeah, the robots are taking over. Not much that we can do. That's one of the more terrifying topics, I guess. And it's not surprising at all that this is popular. Like, think of the Matrix and, and whatnot. Because this is where. Um, we got like new developments and new insights, if you will. <clears throat> like, um, yeah, a lot of uh, the brain power is concentrating on that at the moment. I mean, okay, just kill more people. Recover probe droid memory cores, repair border. 
Those pathos passes. Take us. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of interesting, but it's also a thing that uh, we clearly don't understand and cannot, uh, like, judge uh, the progress that will be made. Like, usually, what humans do is, uh, like, continue uh, thinking in a certain line, uh, like assume that the progression takes place with the same it's the same pace um but that's what the anti ai guys if you will uh are saying is not the problem because it's the the development will be like exponentially uh um, if we notice this, notice that it's too late, then it's already too late. Kind of like that. That scenario. Probably prop droids. I need you. But there's so much shit that can go wrong with the planet, right? I mean, I'm always wondering why people are ju just concentrating on, on, like, those two. Well, not those two alone, but mm, a lot of the focus is on, on those doomsday scenarios. Of course, you always got your religious guys. Uh, the end of the world, Jesus is coming, and so on. But uh, rarely people are, except for a, f a few exceptions, like, uh, um, what's his name? DeGrasse Tyson and so on, uh, are warning regularly about the, the dangers of uh, a little comet dropping on her head, you know? Or uh, a volcano outbreak. Those are like um, valid options as well. No one seems to want to take any precautions for that scenario. So, kind of wondering why it is a bit one sided there. I mean, one difference is, of course, that uh, climate change is man made. If it works as it is said it works. Um, or at least uh, exacerbated. Like um, picking up speed quickly by what we do. Yeah, that's that's the downside of technology, I guess, right? There's always like most of the time you can use it for good and for bad and there are dangers wow, come on, calm, calm down. There are dangers involved. Wow. Dude, you're fighting four guys. I mean, no matter what, like, biological advancement, advancements, you can use it, like, to cure people or to, like, cloning, you know, what, what not, can do, like, unethical stuff. Where are my probe droids at? I need something probed. Wow, that's a bullet hail here. Yeah. I'm 
tech killer droid. What, what, why doesn't that count? Repair border post passes attacker. Oh, is that a le another bot? Hmm, I see. I see what's going on here. Ah, well, let, let's go down here now. I have to deal with the rest. Infested veil. And it's not like nature is trying to fuck us over anyway, like, I mean, think of diseases, speaking of diseases here, like uh, the plague or something, killing like half of the population just because. I mean, you could argue that it's the humans' fault because they don't understand how things work, you know. Like rats, spreading disease, or uh, hygiene, bad hygiene, and whatnot. But take a look at the other creatures that are not as bright as us. Every animal, they have to deal with the same shit. And you cannot say, you wouldn't argue, like, hey, uh, little tiger, uh, uh, panda. It's your fault uh, that you almost that you're almost extinct. You know why are you so dumb? Be more careful next time. Uh, of course you, you go. Yeah, it's the humans uh, hunting them, and, and that is true, of course. But you know, that's just one side of the argument. You could also say, by that logic, <clears throat> why aren't pandas pandas more more careful? Why are they so stupid? How do you think that would go? Should we write to WWF and say Why are the animals so stupid? Do you think they will, they will go with that line of uh, inquiry discussion? Damn it. <laughs> So it is a bit mean to uh, expect from us humans to like cover everything, you know, get everything right. Humans are walking mistakes, right? That's how they learn. Um, kill three more of those guys. Too many people here, and I like it. And they're all sp really spread out. Super annoying. Cloud control. Fucking rocket launchers. I mean, it's not that I'm getting hurt, it's just annoying. Getting thrown back and whatnot. All right, finally. What an attack! And the whole thing about doomsday scenarios is, of course, like if you want to get real philosophical, there's a certain pessimistic outlook on life in there, right? I mean, you, instead of, like, saying, uh, uh, we gotta save the planet, uh, let's, uh, make tons of laws to prohibit the use of X, Y, and that, you could also say, like, uh, yeah, let's save the climate and build, build, create stuff. I guess that's the conservative argument there create stuff that helps us. So the con conservatives are more talking about the future, not not the now. 
and uh, and about somebody else, <laughs> not them personally. Like it's not. Yeah, someone will invent something in the future, probably. But you could say still, you could say like, yeah, let's plant. Uh, I don't know, a gazillion of plants and trees to counter the green greenhouse effect or whatever. Um. Okay, need to go in here. So that would be a more a optimistic uh, approach. Of course, you can can do both, and I'm sure people do that. But I'm just talking about what's what's dominant in the news now. So I don't know. I see the danger. And it's good if people like go through all doomsday scenarios in theory. And for that, you have to have people who are well, who go through the whole range, you know, even to the extremes, I guess. The question is, so how many people go to the extremes? I mean, I'm not against range, but, yeah, well, like I said, humans only learn by mis doing mistakes, so, we'll see, we'll see who's right about everything, or maybe not, maybe we'll die before that, <laughs> who knows, mounts are not allowed. I am just in general not a huge fan of rules. Like, I'm a I'm a fan of like treating people fairly and decent, and that kind of requires some rules. But um, yeah, uh, somewhere in between there lies a problem, right? I cannot thank you enough for your quick work. I don't know what the Organas were after, but that attack was long in the planning. It was a costly defeat for them. Oh, they have deep pockets, but it won't be quick to rebuild such a force. Who's the source of these? What were they looking for? And quickly! The programming signatures point to Lord Cedric Kilesa. Lord Kiles is my vassal. He swore loyalty to me personally when we returned from exile. Don't be a fool. The parameters indicate the probes were to join an assault team in a... My lord, this program indicates an assault team massing in a tunnel between here and the Kalisa estates. I don't find any such tunnel on the blueprint. The siege tunnel? Blood of a queen! They're, they're coming through the siege tunnel! Those attacks were meant to draw your guards away from the palace. The wretched traitor. That tunnel connects his lands directly to our estates. No one's used it in centuries, but, but uh, the tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> I would not have guessed your bloodlust would come in so handy. Moff Sarek gave us cartons of thermite explosives. They take time to set thermite. up they pack a punch. If you take them into the siege tunnel, you can it wasn't on inside Sarek job. and his army. Seal the access so they can't threaten us again. You should have sealed it off the minute you went to war. You have taught me the importance of taking action. There's an entrance to the tunnel nearby. The storeroom is in the same area. I'll recall my troops to defend the surface, but there's no doubt the real battle will be below. Thank you. All right, we get another another earplug here. Um, give me that. Jamunja, Which one is the better one? Seventy fifty four. There you go. 
gonna need to sell some stuff as well. The defense can wait. They need to make money. Mama needs to make money. Alright, I'll help you. Fools! All of them. A lot of you. Thermite! We gotta do everything ourselves. What else? Plant. Ex oh, we just grabbed them on key supporters. Now the attack starts, I see. Mm, there. Hmm, the music is already firing up. There you are. Lesser trooper. Time to die. It's interesting that uh, during war times, that there's quite a lot of like mm, not civilian but uh, tro troops that. That do something else than killing and shooting, like engineers. Makes sense, so. Oh, let's use that. Demolitionist. How big is this? Wow. Supporter. There's some words in the English language where I always wondered why why they uh, kept there pronouncing them like fully French. Yeah. I guess we have that in German as well. I'm German, by the way. Uh, but still, those words always stick out to me a lot. Like saboteur? Saboteur? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I need to plan something here. Uh... Uh, Cam, any ideas? No. Oh. On that slate here. Support. Key support. Okay. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. There were some French colonies in the US at the beginning. There are also German words that stick out to me, of course, but in a different way. It's more like, really? You like that word that much? That's usually so specific, like. Poltergeist or Schadenfreude or, or Kindergarten. Um, right. Support structure. There you go. And we're through, but that's not the end of the tunnel. There's something else waiting for us there. Ok, 
31. I'm really interested to know if Tatooine is lower now or higher than our level, our current level. Yeah, of course, we gotta kill the Lord and the droid. We, we cannot even really avoid them. I mean, we can as a system creditor, but it's not designed like that normally. Tongue a lot of light. He looks kind of cool. Yeah, you like crowd control? Control this, motherfucker. Oh, you got shields, huh? Man. And again the level. A legacy level. That's something else. See, so now we got a super rare item. Something, something. And it's just a deck, uh, dog tag. And he doesn't even like it. Crap. How about that nice shirt here? It's a suit. Okay. Nobody wants anything I pick up from these dudes. They all they're all just carrying useless crap. They look cool as well. So, you're the Imperial puppet who taught Jorad to bite hat. instead of bark. Does he lick your hand? Fetch your slippers? Real Alderanians will never bow to the likes of you. I've been asked to kill you. And I hate to disappoint. Then do <laughs> it. Another will rise in my place, and another after that, until the last infant child. If you had a shred of decency, you'd settle this like a woman of honor. Instead, you hide behind a carton of explosives. What's that word? Word? Decent? What? Decency? This tunnel's coming down. Even our ruins are more alive than your empire! Retreat. Boing! Nope. That's a big no-no. See ya! Enough fighting for today. Oh, we're already at the exit. Let's get... Look at those dudes. They almost look like uh, Andromon cars. Like towering evil people. They're all the same though. Yeah. C designing stuff costs money. What can you do? Okay, go to the throne here. And look at those statues here, they are more like abstract art here. The legs are just like spirals or something. But at least he's reading a book. Or he's serving something on a plate. No, that's a book. So, kind of the statues are all saying, read a book, asshole. Go read a book. Kalasia's just surrendered. My men are returning from the outpost to take them into custody. When they saw the tunnel explode around their lord, every man among them laid down their arms. I will tell Moff Serek of your heroism immediately. Just make sure people know who helped you. I will make sure of that. The Thals need not fear any further rebellion in their ranks. It would be a waste to keep one of our Your eyes weird. here any longer. General Stanul Thal is coordinating our efforts near House Ald. Speak to him if you'd like to take a further role in this conquest. You have saved my house's dream of ruling our world. And taught me much about what that will mean. I will not forget. I doubt that he is capable of learning any valuable lesson here. 
Another 70 item rating. I don't know, man. Just give me that. More stuff that I already have. Report to Lord Stanley Thule. Thule, wasn't that like Ghostbusters? I think it was, right? The gatekeeper and the key monster or something. Alrighty, so uh, since we're here, we might as well sell some stuff to the turrets. Nope. Transport service. Nope. Specialty goods. It's all. I've got the best hardware and the best prices. Well, that's actually interesting. I, I wanted to say it's all crap, but what is it anyway? Die module. All right. Hmm. A bit of stuff, go of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to sell this and uh, end the video after that. So, thanks for watching. See you around. Bye.